There's Blake to Roy. This is for the win. Going into the 2007-2008 season, the Portland Trailblazers had one of the brightest futures in the league. Their starting shooting guard just came off of a rookie season averaging 17 points per game, they had a promising young power forward named LaMarcus Aldridge, and they had just drafted a star center with the first overall pick by the name of Greg Oden. The big man from Ohio State had averaged 16 points and 10 rebounds in college. The core of Brandon Roy, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Greg Oden was the future big three of the Portland Trail Blazers and potentially the future big three of the NBA. But unfortunately, two of these big three really did not work out. After being drafted in 2007, Greg Oden was released by the Trail Blazers five years later, and Brandon Roy, who was drafted in 2006, was also released five years later. This was due to a series of awful injuries. Odin, like many seven-footers, was plagued with knee problems. His were even worse than the average injury-prone player, because his two legs were different lengths, and the knee problems were no better for Brandon Roy, who had to retire at the age of 26 due to a lack of cartilage in his knees. Roy, in his three seasons as an All-Star, was a consistent 20-point-plus scorer who had a knack for dominating crunch time and Odin in his second season was injured a lot and had limited minutes, but in his per 36, he averaged almost 17 points, 13 rebounds, and 3.4 blocks. Odin going into the NBA was actually compared a lot to Shaquille O'Neal, a big man down low who could dominate the paint. Odin, Roy, and Aldridge, when they actually played together, went 50 and 12 and that was when they were not even close to their primes. So what if Brandon Roy and Greg Oden never got injured? How would the league change? Well, going into the 2007-2008 season, the Blazers originally improved to 500, but now with Oden not sitting out his first season, the Blazers now go 50 and 32, getting the eighth seed, because in the West, it took 50 wins to get the eighth seed. This means that the Nuggets fall out of the playoffs, and the Blazers actually give the Lakers a run for their money in their first round matchup, winning two games but ultimately falling. In the 2008 NBA Draft, due to one extra loss from the Blazers this season, the Seattle Supersonics move up one spot in the draft, getting the third pick, and they take OJ Mayo over Russell Westbrook, which means that the Timberwolves draft Westbrook and the Grizzlies still draft Kevin Love, and they do not trade him for O.J. Mayo. And the Portland Trailblazers draft Robin Lopez with the 15th pick, and still make the trade for the Rockets for Nick Batum. In the 2008-2009 season, the Portland Trailblazers win 65 games with Brandon Roy as an All-Star, and LaMarcus Aldridge and Greg Oden both averaging 18 points per game, with Oden averaging 10 rebounds and 2 blocks as well. And after losing in the first round of the playoffs last year, the Blazers now go to the conference finals and again lose to the Lakers in six games. In the 2009 NBA Draft, the Memphis Grizzlies with the second pick no longer have OJ Mayo, so they have a hole at shooting guard, so they draft James Harden. And the OKC Thunder with the third pick are in a unique position. They have Durant, Andy Baca, as well as OJ Mayo. They need a point guard and they need a center, but they really do not believe in Hashim the Beat as they saw him as a bust. So... Third pick in the, N in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Stephen Curry from Davidson College. The Thunder take Curry four picks before Curry was taken in real life, and they took him over Ricky Rubio because they believed that the scoring punch of him and Kevin Durant would be a better fit. In the 2009-2010 season, the Memphis Grizzlies are one of the more exciting teams in the league. With a starting lineup of Mike Conley, James Harden, Kevin Love, and Marcus Saul. Harden wins Rookie of the Year with starters minutes and more touches. And the Portland Trailblazers this year are ready to compete. Brandon Roy is the third best shooting guard in the NBA this year, averaging 25 points a game. 
LaMarcus Aldridge averages 19 points a game, and Greg Oden averages 17, 13, and 3. They also have a plethora of role players. Andre Miller playmaking at point, Nick Batum, a 3 and D wing shooting 40% from downtown, and veteran center Marcus Canby playing off of the bench, averaging 6 points, 9 rebounds, and 1.7 blocks. The Blazers are the first seed in the West with 61 wins, and on to the playoffs, the Blazers and Lakers both make their way to the conference finals. The series ends up in game six. The Lakers are down 3-2, but are up two with 11 seconds left in game six. The ball finds its way into Brandon Roy's hands. He isolates on Kobe, pulls up from three in his face, and gets it to go through the net with .6 seconds left. The Lakers call timeout. Kobe puts up an impossible shot, and the Blazers are going to the finals to match up with the Boston Celtics. And unfortunately for Boston, the Blazers are the perfect team to take them down. Ray Allen isn't guarding Roy, and while Garnett can handle LaMarcus Aldridge, Perkins can't quite keep up with Odin in the pick and roll. And even though it was only his second season, Nick Batum plays solid defense on Paul Pierce. So in six games, the Portland Trail Blazers are NBA champions, with Brandon Roy winning Finals MVP. In the 2010 NBA Draft, without Curry, the Warriors go up to four in the lottery and take Wesley Johnson. The Timberwolves drop to five and select Marcus Cousins, meaning that Russell Westbrook and Boogie are on the same team. May Lord have mercy on that locker room. In the 2010 offseason, LeBron still makes his decision to take his talents to South Beach, along with Chris Bosh, and the Blazers, trying to counter that, sign Wesley Matthews to play defense and shoot threes off the bench. And in the 2010-2011 season, at the deadline, the Blazers, trying to further improve their defense, acquired Gerald Wallace to play some defense at the three spot. Fast forwarding to the Western Conference Finals, Mavs vs. Blazers. It was a battle. It was 3-3 going into Game 7. But the Blazers go on a 12-0 run late in the fourth and finish off the Dirk-led Mavericks to face the Miami Heat. And while yes, the Mavs defense was the main cause of LeBron's breakdown, Odin is just as good of a rim protector as Tyson Chandler. Wallace is a guy that can cause LeBron trouble, as is Batum, and Wesley Johnson can slow down Dwayne Wade. So the Blazers win their second straight championship. In the 2011 NBA Draft, the only change is that the Milwaukee Bucks draft Kemba Walker and the Bobcats take Jimmer for debt. But the Kings now trade for Kemba instead of for debt, and the Kings also draft Jonas Valanciunas fifth overall. In the 2011-2012 season, the Blazers once again are a top tier team in the NBA and are especially good in the West because the Thunder are not as good with just Stephen Curry instead of Russ and Harden. However, they seem to plateau this year when they were previously on a steady rise. And in an attempt to break from this plateau, the Blazers trade Gerald Wallace to the Nets for their first round pick. A trade that happened in real life. And once again, make the finals, but get destroyed by the Miami Heat in five games with LeBron, of course, winning Finals MVP. In the 2012 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats without Kemba Walker now end up with the first pick in the draft, which means Anthony Davis is going to the Bobcats. Beal is going to the Kings, and Damian Lillard is still going to the Blazers because that Nets pick ended up being sixth overall. And Andre Drummond goes to the Warriors to pair with Klay Thompson. In the 2012-2013 season, the Blazers go into the year with a starting lineup of Damian Lillard, Brandon Roy, Nick Batum, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Greg Oden, with Wesley Matthews and Robin Lopez off the bench. They are again a top team in the West, with the Spurs biting at their heels. The Memphis Grizzlies are also the third seed this year with Harden leading the team's offense while Marcus Gasol leads the defense. And the Timberwolves get the eighth seed behind Westbrook and Cousins. And the Grizzlies give the Blazers a bit of a scare in the second round going up 2-1 in the first three games. But the Blazers close out the last three games ending the series in six. They narrowly beat the Spurs in a close seven games behind a great series from rookie Damian Lillard and head to the NBA Finals to once again play the Miami Heat. The series is the closest that it's ever been and there are now three matchups. 
but the Miami Heat end up winning by eight in game seven. In the 2013 NBA Draft, the Sixers draft CJ McCollum with the 10th pick, and Giannis Antetokounmpo is no longer going to be a buck. But the Warriors, who only have Klay Thompson and Andre Drummond, fall to the 15th pick without Curry, so they draft Giannis. And in free agency, with James Harden no longer in Houston, Dwight Howard signs with the Oklahoma City Thunder to join Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry. And Andre Iguodala signs with the Grizzlies to be the glue guy at the three, making their already great defensive team even better. And speaking of the Grizzlies, in the 2013-14 season, the Grizzlies become the best team in the West, with the Blazers and Spurs below them, with the Thunder getting the fourth seed. The Grizzlies take care of the Thunder in the second round. The Spurs actually beat the Blazers, ending their four years final streak. And the Spurs and Grizzlies clash in the conference finals, but the Spurs, after being kicked out of the finals by the Blazers year after year, want it just a little bit more, and that's enough for them to win in an epic seven game series. And the 2014 finals matchup of the Heat and the Spurs goes the same way that it does in real life with Kawhi Leonard winning finals MVP. The 2014 NBA draft remains relatively the same. The only difference is that the Suns draft Zach Levine with the 13th pick. In free agency, LeBron is still coming home, but with Kevin Love in Memphis, the Cavs now trade Andrew Wiggins to Minnesota for DeMarcus Cousins because he was having chemistry problems with Westbrook, as you would expect. And they signed Marvin Williams to play the four. In the 2014-15 season, the Grizzlies have an amazing season. Harden wins MVP, Marc Gasol wins Defensive Player of the Year, and the Grizz win 67 games. The Thunder are right below them, with Curry becoming a 25-point scorer and the best point guard in the NBA, and the Blazers are still a great team, but Lillard is only in his second season, and the West is really strong this year. The Grizzlies this season make their way to the finals pretty easily, and the Cavaliers do the same. And even though the Cavs have the best player in the world, the Grizzlies have the much better team, and they win in five. In the 2015 NBA Draft, with Minnesota being a lower tier playoff team, Carl Anthony Towns is no longer headed to the Wolves. But the Lakers now have the first pick, which means, with the first pick in the 2015 NBA Draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Carl Anthony Towns. The Sixers draft D'Angelo Russell, the Knicks draft Will Lokafor, who they wanted more than Porzingis, the Magic pass on Porzingis because they previously drafted Aaron Gordon, and they take Willie Cauley-Stein. This means that the Sacramento Kings draft Porzingis, pairing him with Bradley Beal. And the Suns, with the 13th pick, now take Cameron Payne instead of Devin Booker because they drafted Levine in the previous draft. This sets up the Hawks with the 14th pick, where they draft Booker, but then trade him to the Washington Wizards. This means that John Wall and Devin Booker pair in the backcourt. And in the offseason, the Wolves signed Greg Monroe because he's not joining the Bucks without Giannis. In the 2015-16 season, the Oklahoma City Thunder become the favorite in the West this year. Curry and Kevin Durant compete for the MVP while playing with each other, with Durant eventually winning it over Curry. And the Sacramento Kings finally pull it together with the big three of Kemba Walker, Bradley Beal, and Kristaps Porzingis getting the fifth seed. The Warriors are also solid with a big three of their own, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Klay Thompson, and Andre Drummond. The Blazers still stay afloat at four with the Spurs at three and the Grizzlies at two. And the Blazers, who were seriously stagnating with Damian Lillard about to be a free agent and the Blazers having little cap space, they decide to trade Lillard and Robin Lopez's contract and they trade them to the Pacers for George Hill, CJ Miles, and two first rounders, giving the Pacers another star player to pair with Paul George, and giving the Blazers a defensive-minded point guard that can play off of Roy, because ironically, Lillard was a little redundant in Portland being next to Brandon Roy, so just getting a 3 and D guy next to Brandon Roy could actually improve the team. The Oklahoma City Thunder battle the Grizzlies in the conference finals, and unfortunately for Memphis, the Oklahoma City Thunder are just way too talented, and they advance to the finals to play who else but the LeBron-led Cavaliers. And similar to the real-life 2016 finals, 
LeBron and Kyrie play out of their damn minds and replace Kevin Love with the Marcus Cousins, and you've got LeBron winning one for the land. In the 2016 NBA Draft, the Bucks draft Jalen Brown, the Celtics draft Buddy Heald, Houston drafts Chris Dunn with the fifth pick, and the Magic draft Thon Maker. In free agency, Durant is staying in OKC after making a finals appearance, and joining him, Bradley Beal. He leaves the Kings in pursuit of a championship. In the 2016-17 season, it was really pretty much the same. The Blazers are good, but not good enough, and it is once again OKC Cleveland in the finals matchup. And this year, OKC gets its revenge, winning in six games. In the 2017 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic draft De'Aaron Fox, the Rockets steal Lori Legend from the Bulls, and Donovan Mitchell gets drafted by the Miami Heat. And in free agency, Chris Paul now signs with the Spurs because he's not going to Houston without James Harden. That's the end of the what if. In summary, the Blazers win two championships with Roy and Odin. The OKC Thunder win a championship with the core of Durant and Curry. Harden wins an MVP. And Curry, Porzingis, Harden, Carl Anthony Towns, Westbrook, Love, Chris Paul, Kemba Walker, and Giannis Antetokounmpo all end up on different teams with many more. Be sure to like and subscribe for more what ifs and NBA content like this, and cue the outro music.